Hi, I'm Mark Mancini with VRB Outstanding and Vacation Home Mastery. This week's episode is on API integration. Well, welcome to API integration. Now, before we even begin with this video, hopefully you watched our previous video, why you need a PMS. Now, I say that because to be API integrated, you have to have a PMS or property management system. There are several out there, and in that PMS episode, we discussed a couple of the main ones, but my most highly recommended one, obviously, is owner res or owner reservations. This is a no-brainer. Out of all of them out there, this has all of the tools that you need to be successful, not only with Airbnb and VRBO, but for direct bookings. It has more tools than any of the other ones, okay? So, you first have to have a PMS to get started with API integration. Now, API integration is different with VRBO than it is with Airbnb. So, we're gonna first talk about VRBO and then we'll talk about Airbnb and why you need to be API integrated. So with VRBO, when you're API integrated, there are some definite positives, some not really negatives, but mostly positives. Now, when you're API integrated with VRBO, you will have to have your own credit card or merchant processor. Stripe is a popular one. There's no monthly fees. The rates are pretty reasonable easy and quick to set up, that's what I use, okay, is Stripe. Now, you'll have to take the credit cards, which means you're gonna take a three and a, three to three and a half percent hit, and you can increase your rates or make a line item to help make up for that percentage hit by using the credit card, but those are fees now you don't have to pay to VRBO, okay, because usually they charge you for those credit card fees, okay? Now, the other benefit or issue I guess you have to be concerned with is going to be taxes, okay? You are now gonna be responsible for remitting all those state, local, and or if there is any tourism tax, any local taxes, okay? This should not be a big deal. I know some of you are freaking out. I don't wanna collect and remit taxes. Oh, no, 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 let Airbnb and VRBO do it. You have to be doing direct bookings. I'm speaking to you out there. If you're not doing direct bookings and just going from the platform, uh, platforms, I should say, Airbnb and VRBO, you're really leaving money on the table. You're, you're not maximizing your, your abilities as a host. You have to be doing direct bookings. So since you're doing direct bookings anyway, you can easily uh, remit the taxes on these by doing the API integration with VRBO. Now, we have a video on how we use Avalara for our sales use and sales tax remittance, but also with owner res, there's a report you can do every month, makes it real easy to remit those taxes to Avalara or pay them directly online if that's what you choose, okay? Now, those are the little quirks with using VRBO API integration. Here's some of the benefits. The biggest one, is normally you get paid the first or second business day after the guest checks in. With API integration with VRBO, you get paid at the time of booking. It might be a couple weeks, it might be several months or a year. You get the money up front. Now, if you're like myself, who has a no cancellation policy, easy, no problem, it is, it's now income. But for those of you who have cancellation policies that are a little bit more liberal, you have to remember this really isn't income yet. So don't go spending the money if it falls outside of your policy period for cancellation, okay? Now, the final thing with API integration with VRBO is that it blocks your calendar in real time, not only with VRBO, but it immediately sends a push out to uh, Airbnb and blocks the calendar so you will not have a double booking with API integration. And you're gonna get all that information about that guest, their name, their address, uh, phone number, and you'll get the email uh, in a tricky way, I'll tell you in just a minute, uh, from them, and it'll go into your CRM, your contact relationship management software, in owner res. So then this way, you can manage any promotions or email using MailChimp and so forth to reach out to them for future bookings. Now, 
uh, it doesn't give you their email address, but what happens is with owner res, it'll send out their rental agreement for them to sign. And to get them to do that, it'll actually get their email address. And it does this with Airbnb. So it'll get their email address by getting the information when they sign your rental agreement. So now you have their email address. You can contact them through email and not through VRBO if that's the way you choose. That's the way we choose. I want to send emails to them and set up our scheduled set of emails after they book. Now, with Airbnb, it's a little bit different. Airbnb still does the credit card transactions, so nothing of that nature changes. They also take care of all the taxes. Nothing of that nature changes. So why do you need to be API integrated with Airbnb? Well, again, you get that calendar sync in real time when they book with Airbnb, it immediately blocks off the VRBO calendar. You'll never have a double booking. It also populates the name, the, uh, the address, the phone number. And again, it'll send out the uh, rental agreement for them to sign. It'll get their email address. It'll put it into your CRM so you can go ahead and market to them later. Here's the reason why you want to be API integrated with Airbnb. This is the only way. Airbnb will allow you to collect a deposit, a security deposit, to make sure your guests don't damage your property. Security deposits are the single best way to prevent any damage to your property because the guest knows they can lose this money. We do deposits uh, in both of our homes of $750 on one and $1,000 on the other, okay? We explain to them in the listing that we are taking a deposit and we're requiring them to do a signed rental agreement. There's never any issues. It's in the uh, description already. Now, if, if you're with Airbnb and you try to ask for a deposit and you're not API integrated, you will get in trouble because you have to be API integrated. It's the only way they allow you to do it. So this is one of the several reasons, actually it's probably more like a dozen reasons to go with owner as and have a PMS because this isn't really a side hustle for you. This is a real business and you need business software to run it. So Onares allows you to be API integrated. API integration is gonna get you paid immediately from VRBO. It's gonna allow you to get security deposits from Airbnb. And again, with uh, Onares, they also have their own accidental damage protection. So if you have guests that accidentally damage things. You don't have to hit their deposit up. You don't have to go to air cover. You can use the accidental damage protection, which is very inexpensive to go ahead and, and, and collect from. And if they don't pay it, you've got the deposit, you've got air cover, you've got more options. So I want to thank you for joining me this week. And I also want to make sure that you're aware we launched a new mini course. Okay. It's called vacation home mastery. I provide 12 key steps guaranteed to get you more money and more bookings. And I did say guaranteed, it's a money back guarantee, okay? It's normally $297 for this year, 2023, I'm taking $200 off. It's $97, it's a no brainer, okay? You spend that going out for dinner and what does it get you? You know, a couple pounds in your stomach, right? But with this, you're actually gonna grow your business. For $97, it's a no brainer. So vacationhomemastery.com. Or you can just, if you want to sample it, I've got three one minute mini tips and you can start with the link below on cancellation policies and then find out the cheapest way to get more direct bookings than any other way. And then the third free tip I'm going to give you is how to appear in 53% more searches and make up to $5,200 more each year in one simple, easy way. I want you to thank me for thank you for yeah, I want to thank you for joining me this week. I also want you to hit like and subscribe below, ask any questions, and remember we're gonna see you again next week.